Hi everyone, welcome back to Benjamin's Kitchen. Today we are going to make a soft banana mochi roll. Now let's see our materials. So first, I need a mixing bowl right here, and of course I need two pieces of bananas, and I need some sugar, some tools, and glutinous rice flour. Now let's get started. I'm going to peel this banana and drop it right into the bowl. Then just grab a fork and mash it really well. The smoother it gets, the better our mochi roll will turn out. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm adding some glutinous rice flour. We actually need quite a bit for this recipe. And I'm adding just a little sugar, about two small scoops, for some extra sweetness. Now I'm just using a fork to mix everything together. Remember, keep stirring until the batter looks smooth and thick. Um, the fork's actually a little hard to work with. Um, let me go grab something better from the kitchen. All right. This red spatula should work way better. Now I can mix it much more smoothly. Just keep stirring until everything is fully combined. Now I'm just scraping everything off the side of the bowl, so all the batter comes together in the center. The spatula really helps. Just mix until it's smooth and even. All right, we are done mixing. So I'm bringing the bowl over to the stove. Let's take the lid off the pan and turn on the heat. We'll let it warm up for about ten seconds before cooking. A few minutes later, now I'm adding just a small circle of oil to the pan. Then give the pan a little swirl so the oil coats the bottom evenly. Now I will pour the banana mixture in. And I'm spreading it out gently so it forms a nice even layer. Now that it's all spread out, we will just let it cook for a bit. We are just waiting for the bottom to set and get golden. Just giving the pan a shake. All right, I've already flipped it, and you can see this side is turning beautifully golden. Just letting this side cook a little bit more. It looks pretty good. I actually rolled it up already. You didn't see the step, but it's now shaped just like a soft tortilla warp. Now I'm placing the roll onto a clean glass plate, and I'm going to take a little bite with the fork. Hmm, tastes pretty good. Hmm, it's very delicious. Hmm, nice. Later. All right, now that our banana mochi roll is cooked and looks amazing, I want to show you the fun science behind why this recipe works as well. There's actually a lot happening inside the bowl long before it hit the pan. First, let's talk about the banana itself. A ripe banana is almost 70% water, which means it's basically a natural liquid source hiding inside the solid fruits. 
That's why this recipe doesn't need any extra water. The moisture from the banana is plenty to hydrate the glutinous rice flour and help everything blend into a smooth batter. Next, let's look at what happens to the glutinous rice flour. It's packed with a special type of starch called amplopectin. When heat comes in, the starch granules start absorbing the moisture from the banana. Then they swell, break open, and turn into a sticky, stretchy gel. This entire process is called gelatinization, and it's the reason our mochi roll becomes soft, bouncy. Now, let's talk about that super chewy texture. Glutinous rice flour has a special starch structure that forms an elastic network when heated. This network behaves almost like a natural, edible plumber. It stretches, it's bounced, and it doesn't break easily. That's exactly why mochi has that satisfying cube bounce when you pull it apart. And finally, the golden color you see isn't just cooking, it's called caramelization. I talked about this reaction last video. The natural sugars in the banana start to break down and brown when exposed to heat. This reaction creates that deeper sweetness, the rich aroma, and the beautiful golden surface that makes the mochi roux look and taste amazing. Alright, and that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this little science in the kitchen moment. See you in the next video.